Okay, uh, Kevin Dye Dye Painting video bid for restain, repaint. And I'll just kind of go through what we do. Uh, right off the bat, we power wash. Uh, we try to bleach as many as the bad areas as possible. There is some bad stuff underneath this deck. Uh, not bad wood, uh, just you know stain that needs to be actually bleached out. You're getting a little bit of mold. Um, and then we go through, pressure wash everything. Takes us, uh, takes us a little bit, um, the pressure wash, because you want it to dry as well. And then the pressure washer will take off a lot of the cruddy paint there, which was basically a person decided to do that. Um, without priming it so we'd have to prime that uh, that's the proper way um outside here let's see how bad these posts are yeah, they're pretty nice actually uh same thing our bleach will get rid of like the black drip line kind of right there that stuff it'll get rid of that we don't use straight bleach we use uh part deck stripper part bleach part water part secret dye painting uh, recipes so it works really good for us uh underneath here needs to be bleached out really good and pressure washed and cleaned out not bad plywood's kind of a weird thing when you when you stain plywoods uh it can be odd you know it can go one piece will look perfect and the next piece will look you know orange the next piece will look brown but so if we pick a neutral color a neutral stain we should get a pretty good run of things this one i remember bidding this uh last year for um Yarnell and Porus, I believe they had me come look at it, and it was pretty bad. This is the side that's going to take two coats without a doubt. And we pretty much do two coats on everything, but this side's going to be a tough one just because of the fact that we need to bleach all this stuff out. That has to look. Um, this has to look uniform. That's the that's the trick. So sometimes what I'll do on a wall like this, which is probably the wall that gets a lot of the sun. I mean, not much because the trees, but I mean, it probably gets the most sun on the house. Uh, what we do is we'd shoot it in a different, um, you know, shoot it in the morning and then do the rest of the house and come back and shoot it again with, with a stain. And then everything is shot with sprayer and then back brushed because we really like the effect of brushing into the, the wood. Uh, I can probably clean a lot of that up and turn it back into one thing. Um, you're not in any dangerous situation where it has to be done right away but we might be able to uh fit it in uh this year still uh, so we'll see that looks like a woodpecker hole we uh take that thing off and we uh fix it properly um if those are not woodpecker holes and they're just sockets then we'll leave them but if they are uh, also for us everything gets painted we do the same thing there. We repaint all that a brown neutral color. I prefer a darker brown than the brown they used when they built these. Uh, bleach, we're gonna have to really hit these gutters pretty good. Uh, but it's really not that, that bad. Um, let me see if I can make sure I get a view of the top. Yeah, so you got a little bit of darken right there we gotta get rid of. Um, we can get rid of that somewhat easy. I think the biggest thing on this is going to be the, the fascia or the gutters are going to have to be power washed, probably sanded, primed, and then painted. Because the whole idea of this is do it so you don't have to do it again. Up there, not too bad. Not too bad. We can clean that up. Um, so the whole idea is just to do it so that you don't have to do it again. Um, unfortunately, you know guys will move fast and they won't follow the laws of painting you know they'll paint when it's wet or they'll uh you know paint without primer i etch when these gutters are up new i usually etch them with a vinegar solution and then a light sand so that i can make sure that we have a, a really good adhesion and longevity of the product everything will be removed i don't stain plants i don't even stain these they look like someone did though that was nice i take these off i like to paint them into the color of the house so these will go that brown uh, so it looks more professional looks really nice um, all this stuff removed uh, off of here that guy right there would go brown light would be removed door uh would be painted um with the color of choice is this a bubble and it is again move fast and they didn't do that correctly. It's gonna to have to be sanded. Looks like they dry brushed over with paint too. Uh, so, um, 
Windows masked with a 3M film. We use a high-end film. It does not leak any stain in case if it has anything on the tape. What we do is we walk around with a thinner rag and make sure there's nothing, nothing. Um, door, light sand, spar varnish. Um, it needs it. Not bad though. Uh, I mean, we could clean it up and put a nice shine to it. Uh, you got a lot of dot mold right here. That's uh, just from the black. That's what that is. We call it dot mold. And that usually comes off with our bleach solution and our, our stuff. It comes off pretty good. So we could probably get most of that. This one's going to be a mean one, isn't it? Uh, but we can most likely get all that. Dex. Um, looks like this was done with a water base at some point, which I'm not sure why people do that. So what we do on these is we sand this. Okay. We sand it nice and flat and smooth all the way down. And then uh, we do basically this edge to this far edge right here, sanded. Just take palm sanders, battery operated, two guys, takes about a half hour. Uh, sand it nice and smooth. So once that's sanded, then you know you have something to lean on. It feels nice. Then we go through. This deck's gonna have to be stripped kind of good, but it's par for the course. Um, we go through and we walk and we find anything that creaks. If it creaks, it gets a screw. If it's sticking up, like this guy, and it's a creaker, it gets a crew. Yeah, that dog's got a wolf howl, huh? So um everything we go through we make sure they're all solid and of course uh again we uh same thing bleach the walls out we try to get it to a, a medium even stuff like this guy up here see how there's that little crease in the fascia there's a, an opening there my camera's not picking it up uh like stuff like that we caulk in before we paint prep is just very very important like those two boards right there the one by and the two by ten fascia or two by eight fascia that has to be uh, caulked in so it keeps water out all lights i guess uh, i've already said all lights will be removed uh, put on the ground windows will be masked with film not paper not anything that'll leak uh, these doors will obviously be the same thing I painted you know i really like that color uh I really like that color. I would almost suggest uh, that we almost aim at trying to find that color and use it maybe for the other doors. Um, that's a really nice color. I, I prefer, I do a lot of high-end stained homes. Um, so for me, I kind of prefer to take them and at least make them a little more modern. You know, we've been taking a lot of the trim to a carbon color, which is almost a black. Um, and it looks really nice, but some people don't like that. And I'm gonna basically paint whatever you want. Uh, for trim and stain. I, I think we should match it a little more into the uh, reddish brown, you know, instead of trying to go with like the tannish color that it is now. And um, pretty basic, nothing too crazy. Definitely uh, something that's uh, doable in a normal week. We do uh, run job, job like this would take us a week, five to seven days, depending on weather. I mean, if it's super nice in December and we say, let's put it in December, then it might take us, you know, two weeks because our days are cut. You know, we can only stain from say nine to two because that's the period of time that's the warmest. And I don't like to, uh, I don't like to mess with the longevity of my products. Um, I have a two year unlimited warranty. So if you, know, you got fails or anything happens that needs to be addressed, I come back and fix it for free. All materials are left, um, left over so that you can put them underneath the house or in the shed or whatever. Um, and that's basically it. That's what we do. Obviously these guys would be sanded as well. Um, steps look pretty good. You know, it's pretty nice. This is a, this is a nice house. I remember when we did the Wesley's, um, how nice of a house this was so uh nothing too crazy hopefully uh this bid finds you guys well and i'm going to make sure to try to get this uh video over to you uh, today or tomorrow so thank you very much this is where we can be reached uh, for any questions um, or you can just email us back when you get the bid and we'll go from that thank you very much and have a good week